Good afternoon, uh, viewers, both within and outside the country. It's another interesting time on air where we bring you issues relating to insurance sector development in Nigeria. This is your favorite program, Insurance Matters, being brought to you by Transparent Protection Limited by Guarantee, an NGO that is based on issues relating to the insurance sector, an NGO that is set up to see to it that the sector is developed. And if the sector must be developed, then we must call on all stakeholders to do the needful. And um, I won't fail to let you know that this program is largely supported by NICOM National Insurance Commission, and uh, we appreciate their support for this program. My name is Godswill Egede, your regular host on this program. Like we always do, today will not be an exception. We have come with a very topical subject matter. Very, very topical because of the recent happenings. If you have been following the news trending on air, you would have heard or seen of the incident of the building collapse in Lagos. Now, how does insurance come into such issues? How will the damage be, be uh, mitigated? How will it be, be minimized? And that is what we'll be discussing today. And then, um, Based on that, we'll be looking at insurance for buildings under construction. Now, to help me facilitate on this discussion is a very seasoned expert in the profession. I'm talking about one who has several years of experience within the industry, who has previously worked for various insurance companies, including Royal Exchange Insurance PLC and Law Union and Rock Insurance PLC. She's currently the head of business development of Livingstone Insurance Brokers Limited. Uh, join me as I welcome Mrs. Queen Joseph Adetomi. You are welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, we will go straight into the discussion. I'm sure our viewers will be very much interested in this topic because of the topicality of it. Insurance for building under construction. How does it operate? Okay, thank you very much for the question. Yes. First of all, um, this policy, the, the co the, it covers, um, it provides covers for indemnity um, relating to construction risk. Mm -hmm. um, this, um, it, it includes um, injury to site workers, those yes. workers that work in site and third parties. Mm. It also covers damages to site workers and third parties okay. and also um, debt to site workers and third parties. And when I mean third parties, I mean um, the passerby and also um, houses that surround the said um, sites. Um, it, uh, it also I involves their properties too. For example, their properties have been affected by the collapsed building. So the policy covers those um, properties too. Oh, it's interesting to note that the insurance has cover for building under construction. Yeah. You know, what most people will always think is that I'll wait until I finish my building and then I get it insured, maybe against uh, maybe fire, burglary. But because of the topicality of this, we have a lot of sites where constructions are going on. And you have told us that there is a cover for such sites. Now, who exactly is expected to procure that policy? Is it the owner of the, of the construction site or the workers in the site? Can you educate us on this? Okay, the owners of the building okay. are supposed to get this cover. This construction, the constructors, the contractors, sorry, okay. are supposed to um, get the covers. The subcontractors, the, um, the, the agents mm. are supposed to have this cover. So, um, if there's no um, particular, it can be a, um, a portion. If the owner says, okay, contractor, I want you to have this cover, so the contractor can get it 100% and um, get the cover. Hmm. So, the, that, and that cover must relate to that particular project? It must relate to the particular um, project. Ah, have you asked, you, you, you've heard it. Probably you are working on a site, you are an engineer, you are supervising a site. Have you cared to ask whether that site 
is covered for by any form of insurance cover? What happens when there is a collapse? What happens when there is uh, injury on site? I want to ask you this. Looking at that issue in Lagos, if that collapsed building you know, has this cover you are talking about, how will it have made any difference? Okay, um, the insurance law, yes. um, section 64 of mm. the insurance law states that any building, any um, building above two-story building okay. has to get this cover. It's mandatory in the law. Mm. So, um, the, the, so it's compulsory for, I'm sure, I don't know whether they have the cover. Mm. I don't know, I'm not aware. But it's, very, it's mandatory for them to have the cover. So, so if they had had the cover, how would it have helped those it, on site? What it will benefit? Help, yes. it, will, it will help the injured um, site workers. It will help the third parties, their properties, those that were injured, and even those that died. Mm. They are going to pay the, um, 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 settle the beneficiaries. So it, it will help. It will go a long way in helping both the site workers, the third parties, the properties, those that were injured, even anything that was missing. So it goes a long way to help them. You know, it's interesting to know that uh, there is a provision of the law that makes it mandatory for building under constructions to procure this policy cover. But what is happening? Is it that the site workers or the owners of this building or the contractors don't know about this law? Or is it that they know about it but they just choose to keep quiet? The law states that um, anybody that... Um, it, um, there's a fine. Okay. There's a fine for it, 250,000 fine mm -hmm. or three years imprisonment. Mm. So it's, it is in the law. Now, um, what you're talking about is um, the enforcement mm -hmm. now. Now, um, I can remember in 2010, the then um, um, Commissioner for Insurance, Mr. Fala Daniels, um, enforced, tried to enforce this law, but at long run, nothing was done about it. And in 2017, and I come in collaboration with um, the Ninja Fire Service, set up a committee for the set for the set policy. But with time, everything just died off. Hmm. So it's not as if it's not being enforced. But how long hmm. does it take? That's that's where the issue is. You know, you just mentioned something now that there is a fine of two hundred and fifty thousand, <laughs> and I just laughed within me. You know, two hundred and fifty thousand for something that has to do with life. I. I'm aware that the, the Insurance Act is being reviewed, and I sincerely hope that this area will be looked into to be, you know, reviewed upward. Because if you are talking about something that has to do with life, and you say fine for uh, non-adherence is two hundred fifty thousand, it could be in both ways, okay. both two hundred fifty thousand and three years imprisonment. And three years imprisonment. Yeah. All right. Um, our viewers, you've heard it. I'm sure somebody who works on the site will be wondering now: this site where we are working, is it covered? The owner, has it covered it? Has he procured any insurance cover for this building under construction? Please, you have the right. Ask the owners. Ask the contractors. Because it has to do with your life. At least if, if something happens and there is a cover, the, the, the damage is minimized. We'll soon be going deeper into this discussion, but that will be when we come back from this um, commercial break. You, you'll be letting us know at what point is this policy expected to be procured but that will be how we'll come back from this break okay thank you all right three years underperformed in nigeria even though we have a population of over 200 million people in this country less than 2 million people have any form of insurance where others believe insurance would never work cpl says no transparent protection limited by guarantee is a non-governmental organization that fights for the common man in all things relating to insurance we help you get the right insurance policy we give you the right information and in the times of troubles we help you process your claims and ensure that you benefit from your insurance policy insurance is not a scam insurance can work for you we at tpl we will stand by you and help you through it together we are strong together we can make insurance work in nigeria 
TPL, making insurance work for you. You welcome back from that commercial. It's still your favorite program, Insurance Matters, brought to you by Transparent Protection Limited by Guarantee and largely supported by National Insurance Commission. And we have been considering the topic insurance for building under construction. And my guest has been Mrs. Queen Joseph, who is an expert in the field. Uh, once again, thank you for so much work you have done in this discussion. Thank you very much. I'm sure owners of building will want to know, at what point are they expected to procure this kind of in insurance policy? Is it when the building has gone far? Is it at the point of foundation? At what point? At the foundation level, you get to know um, through the sum assured of the contract. When you're about to start the contract, when you're about to start the project, that's when you get to know when you're you supposed to commence um, the policy. Okay, from the beginning? of the contract. Yes. So how, how is premium charged? How, how does insurance companies calculate the premium? On what basis? Is it on the value of the finished property, on the value of the land, or on the value of the number of workers that will be on site? No, on the value of the contract, the contract sum. Okay. Yes, um, the rate determined from 1% to 4% determine, um, depends on the kind of project, but it's, on, it's at the beginning of the contract. So it's being charged on the contract sum of okay. the project. Okay, so the premium is charged on the contract sum. So yes. before anything, you have to value the entire project yes. and arrive. Okay, we'll open our phone lines. I I'm sure so many persons will be itching to call. You can call us, you can send us text message, uh, even WhatsApp will respond to you. Let us know what you feel about this. We are having series of building collapse and most times the the technical persons, the engineers are held responsible. But people forget that you could have a cover for such buildings. And that is the, the, the perspective that we are looking at this issue from. Insurance cover for buildings under construction. Now, you, you touched a little bit on the enforcement. You know, I always say that beyond the laws, beyond having the laws, we always have this issue of enforcement. What do you think can be done? As someone who is in the field, what will you advise? Well, as a broker, um, our job is to create awareness. Yes. But it's not only left for us. Um, the government um, functionaries are supposed to be in the picture. Other. Um, um, okay, just ho 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 hold your thought on that. Let's see if we can take this call. Hello, Hel hello your name and where you are calling from? I'm Yusuf Fatima. All right, please tune down the volume of your television set so we can hear you well. All right. Oh, we, we lost that call. Okay. Okay, so go ahead. You're, okay, you're um, government functionaries mm -hmm. and um, insurance practitioners are supposed to be in, in the picture, are supposed to create awareness um, in carrying out this um, um, the tax. Okay. Why the, go the government functionaries? What I mean by government functionaries? Okay, sorry, I think the, 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 the caller is calling back. Let's see if we can take it this time around. Ah, network is at it. Um, okay, just keep the calls coming. If, if the network is very bad, you can send us a message you read. Hello, your name and where you are calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Bobby. All right, go ahead. Uh, uh, all right, so um, let's hope that the calls will come through. Um, yes, I was asking you, what do you advise? How do you think we can push this enforcement even much more? I know a lot of persons are itching to, to call. Please, if you can't call, send messages. Hello, your name and where you are calling from? All right, go ahead. Not specifically as the, uh, the side of uh, construction or building, anyway. All right. Um, what we really want to add is particularly the side of, let's say, you are working somewhere as a driver and uh, uh, your employer, your employee and your employer. Uh, are you, you have the right to have a copy of your insurance cover? as employee 
from your employer. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you so much. Your your question is noted. Saying as an employee, do you have the right to have um, the insurance policy document as an employee? Well, the, the law states that um, for every employer, for every empl employee is supposed to have a group life. Okay. Like that now, for example, now um, the employer is supposed to, any company that is more than three persons, okay. is supposed to have insurance for the staff. So I don't understand what he means, but okay. he is supposed to have insurance if he is working as an employee in a, in a, in a, a, a company or an okay. organization. And that document shouldn't be a secret document. It should be something that is open. Anybody can assess. Um, secret? I don't understand what he means by secret. Okay. I, I'm sure he's more concerned with um, uh, that policy document. Can he have access to it? I think what's the important thing there, if, if you can hear us the caller, the important thing is to ensure that there is, there, there is a cover. That there is an insurance, except you are doubting that maybe your employer not is sure. not being truthful. Uh, it, it's a different thing. But if there is more to it, you can do well to call us outside this program, and then we will weigh in on the matter. Okay, um, hello, your name and where you are calling from. Hello. Okay, so now let's, let's come back to the studio. Um, this subject matter is so key, and that is why so many persons wants to call in at the same time. Now, you, you are a broker. What role is the broken arm of the insurance sector? What role are you playing on this subject matter? What are you people doing to ensure that things go well in this area? Well, that's, that's why I'm here. I'm okay. creating awareness. It's the yeah. way of creating awareness. So, um, um, we, uh, we, I represent the, the brokers mm. to create awareness and letting Nigerians know that it's important to have this kind of policies for buildings that are that is more than two-story building. So it's very important, and it's not only for the insurance practitioner; it also applies to the government functionaries like NICOM, mm. the police, the civil defense, and the rest of them. They are to enforce the law. They are to enforce the law. Why we we create awareness? Okay, so you, you would agree with me that more still needs to be done in this area? Of course, yes. I see more needs to be done yes. because I, I'm so sure that a lot of persons don't even know that there is this provision in the law yes. that makes it compulsory that any building that is two-story and above yes. should have this kind of cover. Cover, yeah. Uh, our viewers, wherever you may be watching us, you, you get to understand that the issue is not even the law as it were because now the law is there. What is the enforcement? If probably you are working in a site and you are confused, you, you, you need to know what the state of your safety is. That is part of why we're on this program. You can always reach us. You can call us. Probably you, you, there is somebody you, you need to report. Because sometimes people need to be pushed hard for them to do the needful. Let us know, and then we will step in and, and see how to help out. Now, before I will let you go, there is this question I want to ask you. We are talking about cover for buildings under construction. construction. Is it a one-off payment? If, if one pays that premium and the project is going to last for like 10 years, what happens? How does it operate? I'm sure contractors will want to know. Well, it depends on um, um, the contract. Okay. Sometimes contract lasts for three months, sometimes six months, sometimes mm. one year. Okay. And if it's more than one year, it can be extended. Yes, so it depends on the contract. Okay, so usually it's one year. Yeah, insurance is one year, but one it can year. be extended. It okay. can be extended depending on the contract. Depending on the contract. Yes. All right, our uh, viewers, you have heard it. We, we will hit something harder, but that will be when we return from this break. We want to bring you some few insurance facts and news so you'll be updated on what is happening in the insurance sector. I'll be back to the studio. Let's go for that break.
All right, you welcome back. Uh, once again, it's your favorite program, Insurance Matters, being brought to you by Transparent Protection Limited by Guarantee, an NGO that sees to it that the insurance sector is developed here in Nigeria. And my guest has been the head of business development, Livingstone Insurance Brokers Limited, Mrs. Queen Joseph. And the topic has been insurance for building under construction. Our phone lines are, are, are buzzing. And then there, there is a question that has come in here. Um, OK, this question says, good afternoon, the presenter and the guest speaker. Is there anybody responsible for the enforcement of the policy? What is the rate of enforcement? This is from, coming from Joseph from Abuja, he wants to know, probably from you, say, is there anybody responsible for the enforcement? Yes, NICOM. NICOM, our regulatory body, is responsible for that, okay. for the enforcement. Um, like I said, not only NICOM, um, we have the police and the rest of them. They are responsible. They are the government re um, 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 functionaries that are responsible for this, um, 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 for this state policy. Okay, so, so NICOM, it should be responsible for now and the second question is what is the rate of enforcement the person wants to know do you think it's where it ought to be do you think the person wants to know not me we are trying nicom is trying okay i know they can still do more okay they are trying they can still do more so let's hope for the best now do you think we have more problem in the area of enforcement than in the area of enlightenment you know it, it, until you know something you may not know what to do which one should which one should be given more attention as it is now? Uh, both both okay. should be given more attention. Enlightenment, creating awareness, creating more awareness because I know most Nigerians don't know about this. Mm -hmm. Creating more awareness and also enforcement too. It should be strict. We should be strict um, with the enforcement. The enforcement. Yes. Okay. Now th this is another question. The person is saying, as a site worker, do I have the right? to request that the contractor takes this kind of policy before we start working on site? Of course. Of course. Um, you're talking about your life here. Mm. You're talking about your life. You're talking about... Um, you, don't, so you don't just live for yourself. You live for your family. So mm. you have the right to uh, make inquiry, to ask, do we have this kind of policy? Okay. Uh, I'm sure most persons are taking to questions. Now, this person is, is, is asking, this kind of policy, what happens if someone dies on site? Does that it, does it, what? It covers, it covers debt. Okay. So, the, yes, it covers debt. So, um, uh, the person's beneficiaries will be reached. Okay. So, it even covers yes, debt it on covers site. The, yes, it covers debt on site. It covers injuries on site. It covers, um, um, in, um, damages to third parties mm. on sites, mm. like mm. the cars parked um, close to the said buildings, mm. and look at what happened to, uh, at look at what's happening at Ikoi. Mm. So it covers third parties, it covers passerby too. Okay, all right. Um, our time is fast spent. Let, let's see if we can take this call. Okay, we have lost it. Well, you've you've heard it from our guests um, that. There is an insurance cover for buildings under construction, especially when they begin to go beyond two-story buildings. And it's exciting and also disheartening at the same time. Exciting that the law has envisaged this kind of calamity and has provided a soft landing. And disheartening that people are not taking advantage of this. And like somebody asked, what is the rate? We are on this program to to share this message, to let you know that there is a provision for this. And if you're a site worker and you don't know about this, please ask, ask questions. Let those who are in charge of the site do what they need to do. Uh, we'll be wrapping up at this point. Like I always say, time is not always in our favor. Uh, we have a lot to say. But beyond the studio here, you can always call us. And like we announced last week, We'll also be ready to help you promote your business. So if probably you want to partner with us, you want us to help promote your business, you can reach us and then we'll let you know how it goes. Once again, 
This has been Insurance Matters, and my guest has been uh, Mrs. Queen. Queen Joseph from Livingstone Insurance Brokers uh, Limited. Thank you very much for Thank coming around. Much. We'll pleasure. be back on your screen same time next week. Once again, my name is Gosfield Egedi, and like I always say, be insured and be assured of health. Thank you for watching.